it's time to think Christmas cards. Although this is the first in my series of 12 Weeks of Christmas, but I love this stamp set and it, this does not need to be Christmas. But it's just coming into this because just beautiful autumn card. So this is the card we will be making today. It's Karen from Stamping on the Back Porch. <laughs> and I love this quick and easy layout. So we'll talk about that as we go along too. But first, I'll show you, this is the stamp set and it comes as a bundle, so you can get the dies to go with it, which of course you would want. Uh, mine are just probably by my die cutting machine. And then there's this gorgeous, is it called Painted Christmas Designer Series Paper. Look at this beautiful spread. Now you're gonna see the two that I'm using today. I'm using this one and this one. Look at all these gorgeous cards that you can create with. And then this is a two-step stamp. You'll see all these fun little things. I'm just going to stamp the pine cone just to show that for sure. And I'm going to put it on my pad here because photopolymer stamps can be a lot uh, trickier to just get flat. So I'm going to be using the two largest pine cones. I love that there's two sizes. So if I put this in and I will stamp like that. And this is crumb cake. And then the next one I'm using is early espresso. And I'm going to use the inside. And I will just place it over. And look at that just beautiful two-tone look that it's going to give. So I've already run those through and cut them out. So these are my supplies. I've got this and then I've got two of the different leaves. Oh, got it. I wouldn't need to, but I'm going to poke off that last little bit in there. Okay, so these are my pieces, but now we're going to work on the base card. This is a really easy layout to use for a lot of different things. So I just, I love talking about card layouts because sometimes we just get stuck on make, trying to make your cards a little bit different but not making them complicated. And for this, first I have my base card, that is early espresso, and then I have my soft succulent piece which is five and a quarter by four. So it's just one layer down. And then these two designer series paper are, they're each two and a quarter by three and a half. You'll notice they're just the same. And I thought, isn't that cool? Because I could use, whoops, that one's empty. Let's try another one. If I put in these on, I'm just putting one going this way. And then I'm doing the other one this way. Now there's plenty of room in here. I could have added words or anything. But I just love, this is just kind of a basic card that is good for anything. Now, when I'm putting these on, I actually like to use glue dots uh, for several reasons. Um, and the main one is they're easy to pull off by just twisting if I get it where I don't want it to be. So as I'm just kind of testing my thing here, I'm just going to put two on. So that will hold it. And when you go back to look at this layout, now my accent is going to be the pine cones, but keep in mind, this accent could be anything. So it's just a very uh, useful accent for doing things. So I'm gonna put that on, and then I'm gonna put the leaves going this way. And I'll put this one right about here. The first time I made this first one, I just kind of held this and tried to kind of figure out where I might want it to go. Now this one then is popped up on dimensionals. So I'll put a couple of those on. And then I want to show you something cool about the twine accent. So for the twine accent, I've taken two strands. So that's how we're getting the double. I might not have done these long enough. I'm not sure. I might not have been thinking when I was doing this, because of course I made this a while ago, but we'll see. Oh, it looks like I can just did it, but I made my original ones longer, so I may have to remake these to put them on. Um, but we'll play with it. We'll go with the idea, because really what I wanted to show, oh, and I messed it up. I don't have two here. That's okay. What I wanted to show about this was how cool this is that by kind of tucking this right under there, 
this accent is not any higher than this. So it's gonna go through the mail just fine. Of course, you can put a piece of paper there too, but I just love it. Sometimes when we do ribbon accents, they they pop up too much. So I love doing them right by a popped up image to kind of keep them the same the same height. So this is the first in the series of 12 weeks. Make sure you get on my mailing list because I also send out a new card tutorial each week. And I hope you enjoy this. Thanks for watching.